Hello everyone. Today we will be creating a shader that simulates ripples, enabling interactions between the water surface and the player or objects. And this ripple effect can be combined with the water surface shader we created earlier, making the water surface look even more realistic. But before we start, there's one thing I need to mention. The shader in this video is inspired by the works of a Chinese creator. Besides the ripple effect, he have made many other interesting shader videos. If you're interested, you can visit his channel. I'll put the link in the description of this video. So let's get started. First, we need to download a few files. You can find them on my GitHub. The first one is the add shader, and the other one is the ripple shader. Lastly, there is a script to implement the effect. After you have downloaded these files and imported them into your project, we can start creating the ripple effect. Let's create a plane as the water surface and name it. Next, adjust the size of the model slightly, and I suggest making the size dimensions integers. Next, let's drag the ripple script onto this plane. This script will require two shaders, which are the two shaders we just downloaded. And there's one more texture that we'll handle later. Next, we will create a shader graph file to test the ripple effect. Choose Unlit Shader for the shader type. Once it's created, double-click the file to open the graph. Alright, let's create a texture variable and change its reference to ripple text with an underscore. As for why we use this reference, it's because this is the reference to the rendered texture we output in our script. Drag the texture into the graph and connect it to the sample texture node. After that, we will output the red channel of the texture, which will help us observe the result more effectively. Next, let's handle the texture required by the script. This texture is a rendered texture that will capture any objects on the water surface. We can easily generate this rendered texture by using a camera. Rotate the camera to face the water surface and position it above the water. Then, change the projection to orthographic and set the projection size to 5 times the size of the object. This way, the camera's rendering area will cover the entire plane. Change the camera's culling mask to nothing and set the background color to black instead of the sky. Then, remove the audio listener component since we don't need two in the same scene. Next, we create a render texture to capture the output from the camera. You can adjust the resolution of the texture according to your needs. To test the ripple effect, we can use particle system. Set the particle lifetime to a lower value and speed to zero. Adjust the emission time of the particle system to one. And decrease the emission range of the particles. Finally, we need to change the particle system's layer to transparent FX and make sure that the camera's culling mask includes this layer as well. Next, we'll set the texture in the script to the camera's render texture. Then, let's create a material that utilizes the ripple shader and apply it to the water surface. Press the play button to see the results. Now our water surface has a ripple effect. However, there is still one issue, the position of the particles and the location where the ripples are generated do not match. We can easily resolve this by rotating the camera's y-axis by 180 degrees. As for changing the appearance of the ripples, you can achieve that by modifying the values in the particle system. For example, by adjusting the color, you can control the intensity of the ripples. Changing the particle's lifetime or adjusting its size also affects the ripple effect. Additionally, using different shapes for the particles can generate various ripple patterns. Alright, let's finish up the other part of the shader. Change the shader to a lit shader. 
we need to convert the color output from the ripple texture into normal map. We can achieve this by using the normal from height node. Remember to add a variable to control the strength of the normals. Connect the result to the normal output. Next, let's add two more variables to control smoothness and color. Change the smoothness mode to slider so that it's easier for us to control the value. After that, click on save to complete the process. Don't forget to adjust the color and smoothness on the material to make it look like water surface. Also, remember to remove transparent FX from the main camera's culling mask to avoid seeing the ripple particles in the game view. Press the play button to test it out. Now, there are ripples on the water surface. When I control the character and touch the water surface, ripples are also generated on the water surface. This is because I set up the player script to create a ripple particle at the player's position when they touch the water surface. This way, we achieve the interaction between the player and the water surface. Alright, now you can combine this ripple effect with the water surface effect we previously created, resulting in a stunning water surface with realistic ripples. If you found this video helpful in your game development journey, please consider like and subscribe. Your feedback and comments are highly appreciated. See you in the next video, and goodbye.